Radio. I'm here for some randomness, so please bear with me. Um, I was kind of curious, when you guys were leaving, uh, the fans sent off, and, and we were caught on camera with some cookouts, a bag of cookouts. And I'm not sure that they have that in Oklahoma, but I don't think they do. Like, what, what are some of the the North Carolina things that you have enjoyed. Yeah, so we, don't, we definitely don't have cookout. Uh, I had actually never heard of it, but um, yeah, they got us some milkshakes before we left, which was pretty cool. Uh, it's very different living in a different part of the United States. Um, there's a lot of new restaurants, uh, a lot of new, just new things, whether it's uh, people, the trees, I know we talked about the trees, it's, it's, it's different. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, enjoying it a lot. In the middle. You guys had a chance to practice here yesterday. There's a lot of people say that when you shoot in a dome and you haven't shot in a dome, it takes a while to adjust to the depth perception and stuff like that. Did you have any issues with that yesterday? I think it was just a basketball goal. I mean, that's it. You ever shot outside? Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, no backdrop. So I mean, uh, it, it. Yeah, it. it It'll mess you up a little bit, but it's not its not bad. Does the basket actually stand out a little bit more? Because if you're in a smaller gym, it can maybe blend in with the background. Yeah, I would say it definitely stands out. I mean, there's there's, there's like, it's weird. It's, it's hard to explain. Yeah, there's a, a, de a depth problem, but it's it's not it's not terrible. And uh, I mean, we, we had a good practice yesterday. So we're here and then in front. Brady, I don't want to go back specifically to Wake Forest game. I want to go back to the day after that because you had a great stretch in the final four minutes against Virginia Tech, and you said that it meant a lot to you that Huber was positive, and it surprised you the day before that practice. He wasn't tearing into you guys after a 20-point loss. That, coupled with some other times of the year where Hubert's picked you guys up, how important has his motivational tactics been to you guys getting to where you are, you think? Yeah, you know, we've lost a couple games this year, a uh, couple back-to-back -back games that we probably shouldn't have lost, and. Uh, you know, his his way of coaching and how he uh, comes in the next day. We his biggest thing is we're gonna watch film and we're just gonna learn from it. It's not to it needs to be seen. It's not to make anybody look bad. It's it's just one of those things that you need to learn from and you need to see it. So um, you know, coming coming back after the Virginia Tech loss, um, he was very positive. We watched a good amount of film. It wasn't one of the, the two hour film sessions that we had had earlier in the year. It was, we're just going to learn from it, we're going to move on, we're going to get ready for the tournament. And uh, he did just that and we've been playing well. As of late you've been compared to Larry Bird, how does it feel to be compared so much? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been around a while just because of the way I look, but uh, yeah, he's one of the best players, uh, one of the better shooters ever and uh, it's just Really cool that that's what people think of when they when they look at me. North Carolina has the third uh, chance to be the third eight seed to appear in the NCAA championship. What was your initial reaction? Yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, Coach Davis talked about when we first got into the the tournament that uh, seeding is not going to matter, and we're here to play basketball. If you want to if you want to win the whole thing, you got to be you got to beat everybody else. So um, you're going to have to play good teams. And uh, you know, being being eight seed, uh, we found our way here, and anything can happen now. Two in the back and then back in the middle. Yeah, it's special. Uh, he, he came to the last game and he was there. We all got to meet him. It was really cool. Um, you know, have. Uh, Big names like that and fans like that—it's uh, it's really cool and it's cool that they that they know who we are. Um, it's you know a couple years ago I'm sitting on the couch probably listening to his music and now he, he knows who I am. So it's 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 a cool feeling. Back over here. Uh, Eli Becker, the Czech CBB, and Brady. Yesterday, uh, Coach Davis talked a little bit about the process, the very quick process of you committing to UNC, and how it was just a matter of days. I'm curious just to get your insight into how the first contact went to you committing and just kind of went into your decision to go to UNC. Yeah, he was one of the last uh, coaches, last uh, schools to contact me. Um, it was uh, about a week, week and a half process for me, and when he called, um, it was like a Tuesday, and I got in contact with uh, Coach Fred, actually, and 
Uh, he, I basically told him I'm, I'm going to make a decision by Friday, and I texted him on that Thursday night and said I want to talk in the morning uh, with my parents. Had a good hour-long conversation, just uh, hashing everything out that we needed to talk about and what what he envisioned me on this team, and uh, I decided I wanted to come here. It was, uh, it was one of those times where uh, it was either stay, go to college, or go pro, and ultimately decided to, to stay at... Uh, go back to college, but I to change, change schools. We got three in the second row, and then we'll go in the back. Uh, with, uh, you, you guarded Paolo uh, Manchero Duke last time. What are the challenges to guard a player like that? Hey, he's a really good player. He's, uh, he's big, he's physical, he's athletic. Uh, he's got he's got a lot of lot of pieces to him. He can dribble, he can shoot. I mean, he's, he is a tough player. Um, you know, he's a... Uh, He's just uh, he is what what people say he is. He's he's a basketball player, and you know it's it it, it, it will be a challenge. It has been a challenge, um, but you know we're looking forward to it. Yeah, Hubert said block out the noise. He keeps saying he's telling you guys to block out the noise. I'm sure you're hearing a lot more stuff now than you had earlier in the season. How hard has that been for you, given your circumstances? You know, I would imagine a lot of the people from back in Oklahoma, maybe former teammates, have wanted to reach out and say, hey, this is really cool seeing you in this situation. Yeah, I've had a lot of people uh, contact me. Uh, a lot of people probably I haven't talked to in a long time. Uh, you know, I've had uh, high school teammates, friends from high school, uh, people I grew up with. They've, they've all messaged me, and uh, it's cool to see see how I'm, uh, get back in contact with some of these people. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, what what coach has been saying. You know, play on this stage. There's there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of a lot of people. There's a lot of a lot of things you got to do just to play the game. So um, definitely definitely have to have to control that. Figure out a way to look through that. We're here back.